Neil? Oh, a bit early to say that. Uh, yeah, obviously uh, a result we needed and we need to be fairly desperate tonight and I thought our, um, yeah, our first half, even our first 20 minutes was very committed. We had to sustain a fair bit of uh, pressure there. Uh, they had a lot of possession early. I thought our defence was outstanding. We shut them down a few times. They got a few repeat sets. So we sloppy at the back end of the game, but uh, they were throwing it around a bit, I suppose, chasing some points. So a bit disappointed to let them score a few tries. Neil, how good was that first half? Where did you make that? Because uh, there was some suggesting it was as good a half of footy as we've sort of seen this year from any time. I, I think it's, um, it's up there. Uh, we had a very good game against the Knights, but it was up at Dairy Farmers and we, we shut them down we, and they were in good form when they came to us. And uh, I was very happy with that. Uh, but other games, I don't think we've really put 40 minutes together like that. Uh, you know, defensively, we had to hang in. They had possession. And then when we got some possession, we scored some uh, nice points. Uh, we also, I suppose, the first time we really have uh, made some long-range breaks. We've actually promoted the ball a little bit in our own 50 and, and backed ourselves with uh, some support play to go forward. So it's pleasing for confidence that, that uh, we've got that ability to play some quick football. Um, so uh, now for our young guys, you know, Stevie Rapira, with, you know, getting over the try line there. and uh, I thought Matty Bowen, that's probably his, his best game for the year. Uh, he's very, very involved uh, to get the two tries there. But more pleasing than that was defensively, he came up with a couple of big tackles, uh, you know, to save points. He was desperate to uh, defend the line, which, you know, for a little man, it's, it's hard. He's, he's, he's saved two tries there. What would that mean for his confidence, do you think? Oh, yeah. yeah, look, I think that's, that's tremendous. He, he's been, uh, you know, he's been good for, for a while, but, but um, you know, to get in there defensively and be aggressive on his carries and, and his support was spot on. and. You know, I thought he attacked the ball on the kicks as well. So, uh, you know, I thought our back, our back three were pretty good. Um, you know, but it's hard to single people out. I thought our forwards were good early. We, we, we went with six running forwards, so that, that that was good for us. And uh, even though we didn't have a lot of possession in the, the early part of the game, was there a real determination this week to just sort of kickstart the, the year? You know, Origin in the back. Now, this is where it had to start for the yeah, there's a bit of an origin hangover, you know, with most teams. I think we're, we're the same, but we needed to. Well, we're desperate for a win, uh, given our last two losses. I mean, we drop out of the eight, and uh, we've got to win a couple of away games. Uh, it does give us some confidence going in, you know, into Melbourne, um, and we're going to have to be good down there to, to be a chance of beating them as well. So, uh, I think we've proven tonight that we can we can play some football uh, and and we can defend. Uh, so, uh, you know, we, we're hopefully getting a couple of players back in a couple of weeks. Uh, but our draw's very, very tough. We've got the Bulldogs at home, we've got the Broncos at home and Knights away as well. So, you know, if we can get a bit of momentum uh, playing those games and stay in the finals, we'll, we'll certainly be uh, battle-hardened going into the start of the semis. Um, but we, we, we need to make a statement away from home, and I think we did that tonight. Yeah, does it make it sweeter being the first team to win up here this year? Oh, I, yeah, I, I suppose it had to happen. Uh, you know, I, not, I was a bit concerned. We, we really haven't beaten them too often over the last couple of years. So it's good, actually, for a Queensland side to come down here and nail them because uh, uh, they don't give you anything. I mean, their completions were 80-odd percent in the second half, 14 from 16. We came up with some errors and, and you know, an offside penalty off the kickoff. We sort of we gifted some possession to them. We need to be better than that. But they are a tough side. They, they complete their sets. They've got a good kicking game and they're, they're, you know, they don't give away much defensively. So um, that's a good test for us because Melbourne are the same. In terms of execution of the game plan, was that really satisfying for you? Obviously, with Aaron Payne coming out, you guys seem to be really attacking them a couple of passes wide every time. They just seem to pull the whole restructure off perfectly. Oh, I don't know. Was that our game plan? <laughs> I give away. <laughs> okay, it wasn't a plan. No, no. Look, most sides they are quite compressed. So you've got to you've got to try and move their line around a little bit, um, but you've got to be measured with your passes too because it can come unstuck. So I thought we uh, we supported a bit better today than we have done, which gave us an opportunity to promote the ball a little bit. So uh, that moved their line around. The I Titans' think. left side has been in the game, so you did put Willie on his brother to disrupt that quite a bit, do you think? Uh, yeah, I, th I thought Willie was up for the challenge there. Uh, um, Ty's predominantly been a left side player. So uh, Will, Wills can play either side, and I thought it just gave our, our right side a bit of a bit of an attacking we weapon too, because he's great on his feet. So it was uh, it was good to see him you know, play a good game. Five, how crucial was, as you mentioned, like starting with the, the six big guys to really take the wind out of the Titans' stars early? Do you think? And yeah, I, I think uh, they yeah it, it gave us a bit more support in the mid midfield. So uh, 
when we got the ball, we had a few more options. And, and, and Matty Bowen's um, you know, quite good out of dummy half. He's pretty good with his hands there and he can play forward. And he does make the markers a little bit nervous there. So it's, it's something we're looking at, given that um, Travis Burns wasn't quite fit to play with, the, with a shoulder injury. So it was just another option for us at the moment. Whether or not we go with it, we'll have to see. Um, you know, the guys are getting experience, like Jimmy Tamo and, and Steve Rapier. It's good, good experience for those guys. Uh, you know, Matt Scott was tremendous when he came on. I mean, he could be a starting front rower, but, but when he came on, he really gives us good metres. So he's, he's good value off the bench too. Um, and, but Tronky's been outstanding for six or seven weeks. His, his metres are up there. You know, he played another full half of footy and you know, 50 minutes straight sort of, sort of for a big man like that. He's been, been fantastic for, for a couple of weeks now. Thank you.